Well, hello there, amazing nerdy geek Linux people out there. We are going to do a little bit of a funny, easy experiment because I'm tired. So let's do a little bit fun things here that I wanted to try for a little bit here. And it's installing the Liquix, Liquix kernel onto Ubuntu 21.10. And it, this should work on any Ubuntu installation so the lts blah 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 you get the idea i'm just using the latest one here we'll do a little bit of a disclaimer as they say down here the zen interactive tuning so they're using something i guess from the zen kernel tunes the kernel for responsiveness at the cost of throughput and power usage a, a lot of people like alternative kernels they, oh it's really really great for gaming or it's great for rendering and stuff like that and you have to remember there's a reason why Ubuntu is, is running the uh, their own kernel here. There's a reason why they're doing that. There's a reason why a lot of desktop distributions and Linux distributions in general are not using the Liquid kernel or the Zen kernel because you are sacrificing something in one area to gain something in another. So so the Linux kernel, the, the vanilla Linux kernel, the Ubuntu kernel, the kernel that comes with your distribution is actually a really really quite well-rounded kernel for every day and and a, you know everyday use so only do this if you have a really 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 specific use case for it so here responsiveness and gaming some people also say it's really good for gaming so if you're gaming 10 hours a day you probably should use this one if you're only gaming two or three hours a week probably not the best thing for you but let's install this kernel here. It, it's apparently really, really straightforward. So we just need to copy these commands in here. And I will do that into my massively great terminal here. And press enter. And this should basically just enable our repository. Then let's do this here. Copy. Yoink. And we are now getting a lot of new things. So they are on 5.16. So we are getting a newer version of the kernel. So let's see if we reboot. That should basically just work right now. Let's go in here and restart this great little thingy bingy. So let's see if it actually took effect. Because I'm a little bit skeptical here. We are running the uh, liquid uh, kernel, as you guys can see here. This is easy to install this one here. The send kernel you need to compile or find a PPA for if you want that. This here is just really, really good for apparently responsiveness. And I haven't noticed anything being more responsive, to be honest. Uh, what kind of alternative kernels are you guys using if you're using any, any alternative kernel? Or are you sticking with the stock kernel? And why are you sticking with the stock kernel? See you all later. Bye-bye.